Welcome students, my name is Ray Lewis from RSW Academy, and I just wanna welcome you to the second portion, the case study of this Ayurvedic Indian Head Massage course, where I'm gonna show you all the techniques that you need to learn in order to uh, get this done. <laughs> So okay. I'm going to take you step by step through uh, each technique and at the end of this course there should be a short quiz for you to get your certification and get your business going. I also want to mention that once you've learned these techniques the key here is to practice 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 gain lots of knowledge put in the hours practice with a family member practice with a friend so that way the, your flow will just be impeccable and you can even change it up and add your, your own personal touch to the Indian head massage. So with all that being said, let's get right into it. Indian head massage treatment can be given with or without the use of oils. The main oils used in Indian head massage are sesame, mustard, olive, coconut, almond, sunflower, and jojoba. When selecting your oils, try and make sure they are unrefined because the refining process means that the oils are extracted at high temperatures, resulting in nutrients being destroyed. Also, it's very important with some oils, it is advisable to test for allergies, particularly if the client has sensitive skin or has a nut allergy. Some clients can be highly allergic to almonds or even coconut, so make sure you ask before starting. You can also create your own massage oil. You can use a base like vegetable oil, mix it up with some herbs or an essential oil. I also created my own, this is my own oil with CBD, which is a favorite amongst all my clients. So I will leave a link in the description if you'd like to pick one of those up. Okay, so when you're starting out and you're looking for a massage chair, you wanna get one that's not too pricey. So you wanna get one that's affordable. Um, also one that is, um, easy adjustable, also durable and soft. Later on down the line, as you get more comfortable, as you um, improve in your techniques and your craft, then you can go with one that's more affordable, okay? This one here, I suggest you uh, try it out. It's a really good quality and it's worth every dollar. It's called, it's by Master. I'll leave the link in the description. Also, don't forget to order your protective towels for your headrest because it's not included. I'll be explaining more about this later on in the video, at the end of the video. Now, also don't forget to get a nice cleaning solution. I will be also mentioning that at the end of the video, probably at the end of the course, because uh, you want one that's um, safe. You also want one that's not too harsh. This one here is by Method. I like it. It's very light. It's uh, not too harsh. It's plant-based and they come in different scents. This one's a light lavender. So an Indian head massage treatment usually lasts for about 30 minutes. If a client has a condition such as an aching shoulder, which needs particular attention, you may find that you spend longer on that area than normal. If too much time is spent on one particular area at the client's request, then you may have to shorten the massage on the face. Otherwise you run over time and late for the next client. So keep that in mind. And guys, remember, that's the whole point of me telling you to practice, 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 because at first you may see that it's going to take you 40 minutes or 50 minutes just to get through it. So once you practice and you tighten up everything, you be, should be able to do it in 30, 35. If you want to go over the 30, then that will be your discretion. So before you start your massage, you want to apply your oil, just a, a good amount in your palms and you want to warm it up. So you want to give it a nice, good rub. Never apply the oil directly on the client. Now, the first step is called the effleurage. The effleurage always begins and ends the massage on each area. What you want to do is take your fingertips and it's almost like a scratching motion, but not really scratching because you're using your fingertips and you want to run your hands up the scapula, down the shoulder blades, down the sides of the back of the latissimus dorsi, and up again. And you want to do this motion three times. So down and up and to the side and back up 
and to the side of the shoulders is one motion. And you want to repeat this again, repeat this three times. This is also a very light pressure. One of the main reasons for this is to bring the blood to the surface, warm up the area so deeper massage can be used and also to relax the receiver. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also hit that notification button for more upcoming videos on health and wellness.